skin, big bandage. Hey everyone, it's Brandon Marshall and welcome to the Acne channel or welcome back to the Acne channel. So as you can see by the title of this video, today I'm going to be showing you how I've been getting rid of acne scars, hyperpigmentation, and some of the fine lines in my forehead because you know once you start getting older, you do start getting lines and wrinkles and... I'm not trying to do that. I just kind of wanted to give you a little background. I know I have mentioned this in some other videos, but yes, I've been struggling with acne for about six or seven years. It seems like an eternity, especially when you have acne. Like, it's just a very long journey, and it's been a long journey to learn to start loving myself. Not going to get sappy, but it is all true tea. <laughs> um, so yes, I kind of wanted to give you guys a little background. I have been on multiple creams, I've been to the dermatologist, I used to be on a antibiotic the step before Accutane, which is Solodine. I was on a very high dosage of that for quite some time. And a lot of these things did help with my acne, but never like kept it truly away. I think with age, it's kind of, I'm not completely grown out because I still definitely get breakouts, but not as bad. It also has to do with climate. I moved to Florida for a year and I'm an Ohio boy. I'm used to the Ohio climate it being colder. I moved to Florida and my skin just went insane. So when I was in Florida, I was not using my banished kit very much because my skin was so bad I couldn't I didn't want to roll over any of it because when you do roll over any active acne it does it can spread because of the bacteria so yes I have been using banish for about four years on and off when I'm having good days and when I can actually do it or I would use the pen stamper sometimes which as you may know can definitely pinpoint little spots when you already have breakouts I'm gonna give you a little rundown of the banish kit and how I've been using it to fight this my discoloration, because that is one of my main things, is I have a lot of discoloration on my face, a lot of hyperpigmentation from my leftover acne. So, yeah. What am I doing? I wanted to go over first what comes in the Banish Starter Kit. Literally the perfect kit has the mask. It has things to take away the dirts and oils. It has things to help your combat your acne and your acne stars and the vitamin C that helps your collagen. Like, it's just so many different components that come together to essentially like a freaking superhero. Just, it's like... Bubbles. I can't think of their names. That was that was gonna be it. That was gonna be a good reference. Like the Powerpuff Girls, how they all three like they're all three completely different, but they all like help fight crime. That's like the products from Banish fighting your acne and your acne scars. Yeah. Banish does have a very new banisher. It is the Banisher 2.0. I have posted about it on my Instagram. I literally love it. It kind of reminds me of the pen stand just with a bigger surface area and the packaging and everything. I always just like put it on my counter in my bathroom because I'm like, this stuff is beautiful. I want my guests to enjoy it. I want them to be like, hey, what's that? I love talking about it. I love talking about skincare. I love talking about Banish. So everything that comes in the Banish starter kit is the Banish oil, which is the vitamin C serum which really helps with collagen production. The Vitamin C Beauty Elixir, which is personally my favorite. If you follow me on Instagram, you see me use it all the time. I have one at my desk, in my office, in my car. Like, I, I'm obsessed. The Banisher 2.0, really sleek packaging, like I said, really awesome. The Pumpkin Enzyme Mask and the Activated Charcoal Clay Mask, which are my two favorite masks in my collection of masks. And I have masks from so many different brands like any brand you can think of I probably have a mask from them it's gonna come with the storage bag and a plastic cleaning container so the pumpkin enzyme mask I really want to do a video showing you guys the effects of this and what it does for my skin but this one I usually do not use before I am going to roll or use the banisher just because it's a pretty high exfoliant like this definitely exfoliates your skin and you don't want to irritate your skin too much before you're doing it I love this mask especially in the fall time because I love pumpkin and it's just like literally pumpkin, vegan, cruelty free. It's beautiful. This mask is so good. I usually use this like once a week because it does do some exfoliation to your skin and definitely helps with my hyperpigmentation as well. So I do love this one. So usually what I do is I start off with the activated charcoal mask and this absorbs all the oils, dirt, grease off of your skin. Um, I am just gonna take a little bit of this in the cap and then I am going to be using my vitamin C beauty elixir as the base. You can use water. I've used apple cider vinegar. It just gives it even more of benefiting properties. So I'm just going to mix this up a bit. I'm just going to apply this all over my skin. Let me use a mirror real quick because I cannot see what I'm doing. Okay, so now that I applied that all over my skin, I usually let this sit for about five or ten minutes until it dries. And this is going to pull out any dirts or oils before I am using my banisher on my skin. I'm also going to insert some kind of like pictures of my skin and what it used to be like here as well. That way you guys can kind of see how far that I've come. 
um, as well as some like close-up pictures of my skin now. Like I said, my skin is nowhere near perfect, but it is it has been such a long journey and I'm like literally learning to be more confident in my skin. I used to not go anywhere without like a hoodie on or like a hood up or sometimes like a lot of times I would always wear makeup and now I feel like a lot more comfortable going in public and going to work without makeup, which is like such an empowering feeling. Cause I spent so many years like covering it and hiding it and I don't know, I just kind of like learned to like embrace my flaws and like learn that these small flaws don't really define me, they don't define you. It just takes some time to realize it. But now it is completely dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off real quick. All right, and now that is completely rinsed off, I have water all over my shirt. I'm not really sure if you can see it. And now we are ready to use the banisher. Usually I recommend if you are gonna be using the activated charcoal mask and not using the banisher, I would definitely moisturize right after. Even maybe use your banish oil just to give you back that hydration that your skin needs because it can dry you out a little bit, but it's definitely taking away all the impurities. But just keep your skin moisturized. We're gonna take the banisher 2.0. And this is it right here. I have had it soaking in this alcohol right here just to kind of get any bacteria from the needles. I'm gonna kind of like shake that off a little bit and just kind of let it air dry. And see, it does have a little bit more of a surface area than the banish pen. In any area that you wanna focus on, I have a lot of divots on my cheeks and redness. That's usually where I like to focus. So I'm just gonna take this and push straight down. And you can twist. Don't twist it while it's pushing, but twist when it's up. You're just gonna push down, lift up, twist, push down, lift up, twist. So you're kind of like moving the needles all around and getting the whole surface area. Anywhere that you want to work on, I definitely work on my lines on my forehead as well, just because I do have some fine lines on my forehead. Because sad reality, we all get old, but it depends how you take care of your skin and the things that you do for it. So I just kind of like to focus on that as well. And I also usually like to do my cheeks. I'm not gonna be doing my full face tonight, but I just wanted to kind of like target some areas before I went to bed. And usually your skin does get a little bit red, but it does go away in about eight hours. So I usually do it before I go to bed. Then we're gonna put it back in some new alcohol. Let that soak and disinfect your needles once again. And then the next step, you're gonna take the Banish Oil, which is seriously one of my favorite. It has freaking vitamin C, witch hazel, vitamin E, rosehip oil, everything good for your skin. And you're going to take some in this little dropper, drop that on your fingers. And we're going to pat that all over your skin, especially those places where you just used your banisher. Because this is also going to promote more collagen growth. And this is completely optional, but you guys know I'm obsessed with the vitamin C beauty elixir. I even like to use some of this afterwards, just to give even more of that collagen production. And it feels really nice on your skin too, which is super soothing. Super soothing. So yeah, and then after that, I just go to bed and usually wake up, and I'm not gonna lie, sometimes when I wake up, I notice my skin looks more plump, it feels more moisturized, and you can honestly even notice just a difference overnight. You're definitely not gonna see drastic results overnight. Your hyperpigmentation and acne scars are not gonna be completely gone, that's just the reality of it. It does take time, but as you can see with me, it's been a long time coming, but I've made so many improvements. I'm still improving my skin, and it, it is definitely a process. Um, in a few weeks, you'll definitely notice your hyperpigmentation, and pitted scars are gonna take a longer time. I'm still working on my pitted scars, but they've come so far like so freaking far so just stick with it you got it and it's fine it's fine it's fine everything's fine um if you want to check out the banished starter kit the link will be down below you can check out all their products and you can definitely leave questions down below too because i will be here to answer your questions any questions you guys may have about my routine about my skin anything like that and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys